Alright, so we are back at it again with another NXT reaction video. At least I think she's still in NXT, but she might have been one of them ones that got whoop, bumped up to the main roster. I'm not too sure. I cannot keep up with all these draft changes that happened recently, but Ivy Nile is the wrestler that we are going to be checking out today for the first time in forever. She is not the River Nile. She is Ivy Nile. There's my introduction for her. Let's check out her top 10 moves. Off the bat, by the way, she looks like she would absolutely throttle me. Lift me up and do some sort of mad F5 kind of thing with ease. Because she is... I bet my pound. I bet my... She's built! She actually... She's like Ronda Rousey 2.0. Definitely some MMA in the background. You see what I'm gonna say? Up in the shoulders and then just squats. Fall away slam. Let's see it. Oh, strength. On display in NXT UK. Is that where she's from? Is she from UK? I mean, judging by the looks of her, I reckon she's probably Scottish. See them Scottish women? They're just like. Spear! Oh, that was on a spear. She picks her up and then slams her down. Again, MMA kind of combat. German suplex now, not like Brock Lesnar, surely. What is this? Oh! That was a nasty way to do it because you're you're already in a very precarious position. You know, <laughs> starting up there. I thought she would just like normally grab them from a standing position and throw them back, but nah. She already has her opponents two feet in the air, squeezing the waist. And then look at this. That's so risky for the head. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. Ah, 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 ah. Flipping headlock driver. What does that even mean? Oh. <laughs> That's Thea Hale as well. Getting some. Boom. Diving elbow drop. Okay, we've seen this. From the tippity toppity of the ropes. No, not from. This is the bottom rope. Nah. She goes on a wee kiss as well. Just to signify the end. Oh, to the back. Yike, Rooney's. Oh. All right, snap suplex. That's a wee quick one, isn't it? Like off the ropes or something? No. Oh, okay. Well, what's the difference between that and like a normal suplex? What does snap actually mean? I thought snap was like when they're running at you and you just catch him. Snap. But he's like, whoa. Whoa, Kimasabi, I bought my Kawasaki, I'm driving through the city like... Oh, that's a nice one. Right, the Enzo, Enzo Amore, Enzo Giri. That's a big kick, isn't it? Yes, it is. And the way she set that up was so nice. Oh, boom! Zaya Lee got absolutely wee sports bowling balled to the head. Am I right? Number three is a calf kick, though. What, like a koi? Like a baby, oh, okay, forces the opponent into the corner. Is it always in the corner? I guess so. I mean, yeah, does the trick like, doesn't it? Oh, that was a good one. Oh, trying to crack her head off the turnbuckle there. Tiffany, Tiffany. Modified slam then for number two. We're getting close now. What's her best move then? We'll see it soon. Well, that's a big girl, but she got, oh, it doesn't matter. Strength once again being shown by Ivy Nile, but we're moving to the number one spot already. It's a dragon sleeper. Yeah, I can imagine that a submission move would be one of her ideal moves. You know, if she's like an MMA fighter, then uh, a sleeper is going to do some serious damage, especially with them arms, them big <laughs> muscle busters. Come on, Ivy, let's see it. Dragon sleeper. What is the move though? Okay, we're going up. She counters. Oh, so the opponent is not always standing. Okay, but the main premise of the move is to, like, invert her arm and then wrap around the opponent's neck like a flipping snake. That is looking dangerous, and I like it. Oh, oh, and she also has her, her other arm around to, like, grab the head and push it even further. She's a psycho. But that's it for Ivy Nile. Yo, she's one to watch, I'm telling you. I think the, like, the people that I've reacted to recently have been good. 
You know, like Thea Hale, for example, she seems good, but she's all like, yay, I'm a cheerleader, what do I do? Ivy Nile is like, nah, bitch. She, oh, if she comes across Thea once again, I'm telling you, Thea, Thea's head, neck, everything is gonna make. <laughs> if we're talking dominant wrestlers right now, it's Rhea Ripley, right? But if Ivy Nile just keeps on working, keeps on pushing up, and if she's already on the main roster, which again, I'm not too sure, I can see Ivy Nile being the one to take down the Women's World Champion. Although, am I getting ahead of myself? Is that realistic? I'm not too sure. But then again, who is going to beat Rhea Ripley? We need someone that has that ground and pound MMA, like, beat him up fashion, you know? And Ivy Nile fits the criteria. Ronda Rousey's off doing her tag team work. All right, so who's it going to be? Liv Morgan? Watch me. Nah, I don't think so, mate. Charlotte Flair? She got beat at WrestleMania by Ripley already. Who else is it going to be? Like, who... Sasha Banks is going to return. Do the bank statement on Ripley. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Easy work. Anyways, let's stop talking. That's it for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.